Hey everyone, Chris here, and today's Valentine's Day, so I decided that we're going to do a little reading of a cute little fanfic I wrote, because might as well. So, let's just get right into it. Elster paced the storage room, her mind racing at the discovery before her. The faint scent of paint filled this room, a casual reminder of the difficulty of the choice before her. She had just found her guitar like one of those old instruments from the Imperial era that she always saw in those flicks that Ariane liked to watch before bed. Its fragile frame lay gripped in her hand, its neck caught in her grasp. Standard protocol was to destroy these propaganda machines, yet something within her gave hesitation. She had been wanting to give Ariane a present, but in an environment such as this, to do so would be quite hard. Perhaps this was an opportunity, but would she even like it? It was a stupid old propaganda machine, and a present be fit for someone who she loved to the very core? Would Ariana be insulted that she even dared hand her trash she scavenged? As she tested her options in her head, fate had other plans. With the door opening in a joyous, hey yo, she felt the officer's embrace. Playfully, Ariana placed her hands on Elster's eyes. Guess who? Ari loved this game. Elster still couldn't really reason why, but something about it brought her friends some happiness, so she played along. Is that an Adler unit? Harry broke out in laughter of the response, and seems carefully studying the films to learn what Gestalt's called humor was worth it in the end. No, Ellie, you silly goose, it's me, so what you up to? The momentary joy of seeing Arianne had made her forget what predicament she was in. Quickly, she moved the Imperial device behind her back. Yo, what is that? Ari playfully called out. Um, it's a secret? A secret? Joy lit up Arianna's face. The idea of keeping a secret in a closed space like this must truly have amused her. Or perhaps she was just playing along with the game Elster was conveying. Well, she pecked Elster's face, I'll be ready for when you're ready to share. And with a giggle and a bound, the officer left the room, leaving Elster to decide as to her choice. Hours had passed before Elster had finally made a decision. She would give Ari on this present, and if Ari hated it, she would simply pass it off as a joke. It was a horrible plan, but considering that not many alternatives existed, it could be worth a shot. So with a held breath, she entered the senior officer's bedroom. She walked forward. Ari, hey, hey, what's up? Ari was reading the manuals again. Um, I have a present for you? A present? She bounded out of her bed and straight over. Ellie knew this excuse of scrap metal was going to ruin that smile any second now. But she persisted, too late to back out, and presented her gift. A guitar? Oh my god, Ellie. Ari embraced the confused replica with a warm hug. Um, small issue though. I don't know how to play. Play? Yeah, you gotta like strum the strings to make music. Why don't you give it a shot? And thus, Ellie began to play, and Ari began to dance. And that's all I've got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, happy Valentine's Day. Till next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao.